Hi, this is Kelly from Pataka Kelly and Play, Learn, Talk. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this page that you see right here. Now, I have designed this page with the intention of including it in my very first escape room boom card game. And I am at the very start of a series of tutorials where I'm going to show you how to create your own escape room. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach all these different videos to a playlist, and that way you can go through and just systematically pick and choose which uh, techniques you would like to use in your particular escape room. So this is going to be the first technique, and that is a draggable, movable image that has some hidden text or invisible text that drags along with it and can, you know, be used to reveal a message that students have to decode. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the Boom Workstation right now. I'm going to quickly show you how to make it. I think it should take less than five minutes. All right. So um, if you are interested in the series, make sure to subscribe. I post daily videos. And if you hit the bell notification, you'll be notified as soon as I post the next step in the series. And if you're watching this a long time later, just go check out the playlist that will be linked at the end of this video. So here you see I have two black bars. I've done this to save time. Okay, these are going to be our borders. And I just want to show you how I got those. I pulled out a text image here, double clicked, erased the text inside. I'm going to stretch it out so you can just make your own shape. And then I'm going to come over to background and change it to black. Okay, now that it's already done, to save myself more time, I'm going to come over here and duplicate it, and then I'm going to move it down to the bottom. Now, I highly recommend to save yourself space on your card. You can see down at the bottom it says card size. It already has a little bit. Now, if you were to just make this as a background in Keynote or PowerPoint or Canva or wherever and import it as your background image, that would save you on card size, okay? So I would recommend doing that. I just happened to do it in the workstation. Wanted to show you um, how to do it as well, okay? So there we have our, um, you know, our background border. That looks good like that. So now what we need is the instructions up at the top, and then we will also get our little instructions at the bottom, okay? So we're going to grab text, and let's see. Um, we want to say, oops find the hidden letters okay and I'm gonna recommend that you stretch out this entire text here and then double click to center the text and that is going to save you problems um, you know depending on um, where your user opens this boom card deck there could be um, issues with your text maybe wrapping around in an incorrect way so you just want to make sure you have some extra space on these sides when you go into preview mode here um, those nothing's going to be clickable here. So it just looks nice and clean and nothing gets pushed out of proportion. All right. So that is like that. If you wanted to change the font, you have all of your options up here. I'm going to change it to this one. And then um, let's go ahead and actually add in our, our image. So we're going to grab caption pick and I'm going to double click and get a present. Okay. Oops. Okay. So you see how when I move that, this is an actual image that you could move out here. And then if I make this draggable, that's the whole entire container, and we preview it, then if I move this, the whole thing moves. Okay, so obviously we don't want it like that, but <laughs> that's just the idea to help you visualize. So what we want to do is put this one back into the container. And here where it says caption, that's where we're going to put our text. So our hidden word is going to be the word 10, so we need to have three letters. And I'm just going to adjust this like this. We do not want to make these draggable. Only the container is draggable. Okay, or all we need to have as draggable. So I'm going to put it right next to the present, and I'm going to do that because when I move the item, I want it to be um, not so obvious that there's a hidden letter there. Okay, um, I really want it to be a little bit more challenging, so I might put it right here on the edge of the box. And now I'm simply going to go Command C, Command V. If that doesn't work for you for some reason, um, I'll show you another option. So we're going to make this an E. Um, so we'll click on it here, and then we'll just hit duplicate. So if it ever doesn't work, that keyboard shortcut, don't worry. You can just use the, the built-in um, features on the side. Okay? So we're going to put this one here and change it to N. So for now, we're going to leave these as black just so we can see them and make sure that we have all of them. Um, and then later, we will change them to white. We are going to get rid of this border. Okay? Um, so I want to click on this little tail here, and we're going to come over to border and make sure there's none. Okay, so here's our image, and let's go ahead and center it here, okay? And then we want to have our next set of instructions. We could pull out that text, but we could also just duplicate this one, 
Command C, Command V. Once again, if that doesn't work for you, you can just hit duplicate. So we're gonna say, um, let's see, what are our instructions? Um, maybe decode the letters. I don't, I don't remember what I said, but we'll just keep it like that. We're gonna make it smaller and we're going to adjust the size. We'll make it 14 and, whoops, move it over like this, okay? And let's just do that, decode the letters. So now we need to have our fill in the blank text boxes. And so we're gonna grab one of them, okay? And then we are going to double click on it and we want one letter per box so we can make the size kind of big. Let's make it 40. And we don't want an open response or multi-line or any of these things. We want the font to be the same font that we're using, um, but we want to designate the letters. The first letter should be T and only T, right? So we're going to put it there. Now to save ourselves time, we're going to duplicate this one here, okay, and duplicate it again. And then we do need to go back in and make sure we change what the letter is. So we're going to get rid of this. We don't want it to be T, we want it to be E now. We're going to hit submit to make sure it saves. It did. And here, we're going to make sure we get rid of T again and put in that N and make sure to hit submit. Okay, so we know everything's correct here. Let's go ahead and move them all over. So I'm holding down command on my keyboard as I click all of them so that I can move them all at one time. And you notice these are a little bit um, out of alignment. So I'm going to click this first one. I like the alignment of this. That's why I'm clicking it first. Then I'm going to click all the remaining boxes. Uh, and I'm going to come over here and adjust them. So I could do horizontal and it adjusts these uh, latter two to the first one. Okay, so that looks good to me. And I might even make this a little bit larger. And then our last thing that we need to do before we change the font color is we need to add in some decoy pictures. Okay, so we're going to grab the image widget and I'm going to grab this little present here. We don't want to make it draggable. Okay, we want to actually make it um, not, not interactive at all. And that is just going to be our little decoy. And let's go ahead and put it here, make it a little larger. Now to save ourselves time, we are going to also duplicate this image, Command C, Command V and we're gonna move it over to the side. And then all we have to do is double click it and then we can choose another present, okay? So now if we wanted to make this even a little more complicated, we could um, put more decoys in. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll put in some more decoys and we will just change out the presents to these other ones here, okay? And then here we wanna change our font. So I'm gonna click on all three. I believe I can change the font at the same time. We will find out right now. Uh, let's see. Um, no, I cannot. So actually I gave them backgrounds. Okay. So I'm going to just double click on it. I'm going to the wrong thing. There we go. It's white now. Okay. So right here, we're going to change it to white and change this one to white. And that should be our last step. Okay. So let's go ahead and double check everything. We're going to go to preview and we should have this as our only draggable image. These cannot drag, they don't do anything. And decode the letters, these are all typable. Okay, so let's find the hidden letters. Our first one is E. Okay, so we're gonna put that here. N and T, all right? So we want it so if they hit submit, it's gonna give the error. Okay, so those are all out of order. So they're gonna have to figure out what goes in what order, of course. So let's say they figure it out, whoops. And let's try it again. Perfect. So that is how you do it. So if you found this video helpful, um, please give it a like. And also let me know in the comments below what techniques you'd like to see next. I have a list of literally like 20 different ways you can do an escape room. So I'm planning on doing all of them. But if you have a particular thing, let me know um, in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram at Patika Kelly and let me know. And I will prioritize that video for those of you who are really eager to learn that specific technique. All right, I will see you guys in the next video tomorrow.